the, the perfect start to the day. Thank you very much. Thank you, James. Have a good day. You too. Yo, what is up, everyone? Good morning. It's Barley Shreds, day six. I got the coffee. I got the sun. I got the sea. Today is going to be a good day. Oh, yeah, that's good. With almond milk, though, almond milk's definitely not as good as um, cow's milk. Nowhere near. But I'm just going to try going back to almond milk for a while and see if that reduces the bloating because I've noticed my stomach's been feeling pretty bloated at the moment. I think it's the fruit, to be honest. I'm hoping it's the fruit anyway. Uh, I'd rather just eat less fruit than have to give up uh, dairy milk completely. But we'll see. I'll keep you updated on that. Um, today I woke up at 103.1 so I'm only I'm basically where I started I think uh, I'll have a good day today and then I'll end this week in a small loss but uh, I look leaner even though my weight hasn't changed I definitely look leaner this week so that's that's a good thing um, I'm gonna be training arms and abs today I've trained all week it's a Saturday, uh, all my body is sore, my legs are sore, my shoulders, my chest, my back, everything is sore. I'm definitely ready for a rest day, but arms and abs is basically like, like a rest day anyway. So looking forward to that. Um, I've got some other work to do and stuff like that. Maybe I'll talk about it in a bit, but right now I am just gonna do my usual walk down the beach. Okay, Saturday, arms and abs. Nothing better to train on a Saturday than arms and abs, to be honest. It just feels like, it just feels right, you know? We're gonna mix it up a little bit today with some different exercises. Maybe some straight bar, barbell curls. Can't go wrong with these bad boys. Now I am still feeling a little bit bloated. I was actually feeling pretty good this morning and then I had some watermelon and now I'm feeling a little bit bloated so I'm just going to monitor the situation. I don't want to cut the watermelon out entirely because it's, I don't know, it's so hydrating and tasty and it's low calorie. I'm just going to see how I get on. It's warming up now. Oh. I don't know whether this is going to be a working set or not. I'm just going to uh, pick it up, try it, see how it feels. <clears throat> yeah, this is good enough. Let's have it. feel that in my forearms as well. I love working out on a Saturday because most people, it gets to the weekend, Friday, Saturday, you see it in the gym, right? Monday morning, so busy. Everyone's in the gym on a Monday. Come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no one's in the gym. So the reason why I like working out at the weekend is I feel like I'm getting ahead. It's a bit like the same reason I like waking up early in the morning is because when I get up, I start my day and I do some work or I do something which is helping me get ahead. When I know almost everyone else is asleep, I'm like 
take, making progress towards my goals. And it's the same thing at the weekend. Weekend rolls around, a lot of people end up taking steps back. For example, for myself, when I was younger, I used to do everything, not perfectly, but I used to try very hard, like with my training and my nutrition and everything. But then Friday would roll around, I'd go out, get pissed. Sometimes I'd do it Friday and Saturday. Obviously I'd be ordering takeaways, I'd be eating whatever I want, be drinking shitloads of alcohol, staying up till like five, six a.m. in the morning. And all that hard work that I'd done throughout the week was just completely undone at the weekend. And I went through this vicious cycle of doing this week after week after week for years. Now I don't really, I don't drink that much. I don't not drink, I still drink a little bit. Um, and sometimes I do stay out late and party, but very infrequently now compared to what it's like before. And ever since I stopped doing that is when I actually saw real progress. So that is why I liked working out at the weekend. All right, set three. Let's get it, baby. <clears throat> biceps are cooked. Wow. Holy moly. All right, I did say I was going to mix it up with the exercises today. That is except tricep dips because there is no comparable exercise in my opinion. There isn't like a machine dip uh, here, otherwise I might do some machine dips. But uh, we don't have that, so we're going to do some bodyweight dips instead one of the best exercises for triceps in my opinion especially if you do full range of motion like I'm doing right now going all the way down Set two. Okay, set three. Okay, second exercise, the biceps, hammer curls. Literally cannot go wrong with hammer curls. So when it comes to choosing which exercises to do, the number one thing to remember is you want variety. So 
we started off with the biceps with the straight bar curl now this exercise that i'm doing right now the dumbbell hammer curl it might look exactly the same at the surface but there are some differences so instead of my biceps being like this uh, instead of my wrists palms facing up like this they're facing like that and what that does it changes the emphasis on the bicep and also works a different part of your, your forearm as well and also with me doing dumbbells now it's single arm i'm still doing it at the same time but when you do a barbell if you're if you've got one side which is stronger than the other you can kind of overcompensate with the stronger side with this with the dumbbells you can't do that because they're not connected if that makes sense so set two <clears throat> Ah, okay, set three. Come on. I'm starting to flag a little bit now. All right, second tricep exercise. I'm not just, I'm not done this in a long time. Which is a skull crusher. Okay, I'm just doing two sets on the skull crushers because, well, my triceps are pretty cooked. So now I'm just gonna do some two sets tricep rope extension and then that's my triceps done. set two it's been about 15 minutes because I just got speaking to some guys so we're gonna do a drop set Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> 
Ah. Triceps done. All right, that's two biceps, two triceps. Now I'm gonna do some abs. Say hello to my little friend again. I did say I was gonna do some different exercises today, but to be honest, nothing compares to this one. Nothing comes close. Ab roll out. Okay, set two. Set three. Come on. Okay, second exercise for abs. I'm not changing up my ab routine because why change something if it's not broken? This, this just works for me. Okay, set two. Okay, you made that look very easy. It's easy. Like here? Yeah. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Maybe you can take more space. Like yeah. here? Yeah. 
it was okay. But I can do better. Uh -huh. But maybe you're just tired because you're already done. Oh, I'm tired for sure. Yeah. But that's no excuse, right? <laughs> Actually, I also done my press hands dancing. Like, using the bands. And now I'm going to learn handstand pump. But, wow. But it's so hard and I now I just learn to like lift my legs. You, yeah. Can you try? <laughs> <laughs> and hands so how is it? Like and this? Wow. That's hard. You make it look so easy. <laughs> I'm getting cramp, cramping. Ow. But that's okay. I was just like you when I started. Yeah. I cannot feel my leg. Like, how should I lift it like this? I was like, and now I feel much, much light, lighter. Wow. And if you can control your... Uh, it's like... I think the else it requires full muscle. Like leg, core, shoulder. Then you can do this. That's cool. It's my boyfriend. Hello. Hi. James. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm just practicing. First time. You want to try? <laughs> I'll try. So you, I think you just have to first lift your toes. Yeah. And push your butt. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Humbling, to say the least. Yeah. It's good to do. Yeah. How long have you been training? 22. 22 years. 22 years? Wow. You must be professional. He was I'm doing really coach good at here. Yeah. Coach? Oh, nice. Whew. Yeah? Oh, that's nice. Honestly, my, uh, my shoulders are so tight after that. I can feel like my traps cramping. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm trying to build my body, uh -huh. I will do the exact same amount of stretching. Yeah. yeah. Then you can, for me, then I can do everything I want with my body. Yeah, I need to stretch more, definitely. Because the more like muscle you build, like the less well, flexibility you have, right? Cool. What was your name? I'm Rebecca. Rebecca, James. James. Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you for my lesson. I'll be back here again. I'll practice every day and then I'll come and show you in two weeks. <laughs> okay, so that was arms, abs and the worst handstand attempt you've ever seen. It's Saturday, so thankfully the week of training is done. What do you reckon? Should I start practicing handstands every day? Would you like that? <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, the time is 3 p.m. Time for the first meal, and we've got some more carbs in the mix today. 150 grams of white rice and 400 grams of chicken. Yesterday, 
I overcooked the chicken, it was way too dry. So today I've tried doing it in the air fryer. Hopefully it's okay. I feel like my air fryer is um, a bit cheap or just not very good because I have to cook things for a lot longer than is recommended by my friends or when I ask AI, I always have to cook it longer. And also, I've got a special ingredient. This stuff is gangster. Hot salsa. I don't know what the calories are on this, but it's, it's pretty low, to be honest. So, this is the meal. Chicken, rice, salsa, and watermelon. 